Hello, this is Brian Standards again um, from The Awakening, and I am going to go over why ViaCAD is a good program to have versus SolidWorks, Autodesk, and many other programs. Um, with ViaCAD, you get bang for the buck. With uh, SolidWorks and other programs, yeah, they're very powerful. Um, they do have a large backing, but they're rental programs. Autodesk is rental, and via CAD you purchase it for in between 150 up to 400 for what I have. And what I have does everything that I did in SolidWorks. No, it's not. It is a. Um, it is a parametric modeling program, just like SolidWorks. But there's things you need to know, and I'm going to teach them in later episodes, on how to how to model and how to design where you keep your parametric features, where you keep that design tree. Because it's so easy to do something, I'm not going to explain here, to make your design tree disappear. And ViaCAD creates drawings just like SolidWorks does. You create a model, you want that model to go to a drawing, it automatically does the model to drawing, model to sheet, and from there um, you basically dimension that drawing and as long as your design tree doesn't get messed with, which I'll teach you guys how to keep it intact, you can turn your model back on and make changes and when you make your changes you just tell your drawing, hey update, I made some changes to the model and boom it, it updates. And then all you got to do is add your new dimensions for the features you added, just like SolidWorks. So it is a powerful program. It, there's things that it doesn't do that SolidWorks does. Um, for instance, you know, when you, SolidWorks, you have faces for parts that are connected with uh, mates to other faces. You really can't do that with VCAD. You're just putting the parts together. You're doing a distance and you're bringing them together. If you can do that, put it in the comments because I don't know you can do that. But um, aside from that one mating feature and the Excel spreadsheet, you can't connect via CAD to Excel spreadsheets. Via CAD is a very powerful, powerful program. It, it's made me a lot of money. I think in my last well, no, I didn't say it in my last episode because I redone my last episode. It has made me right around $10,000 thus far, and I've had it for a year. Um, in fact, it's made me more than that because that's just one website. The program can make you some money, okay, because it does drawings pretty quick. Uh, let me see here. Um, let's just do a quick, very quick demonstration within the next three, two to three minutes. We are going to click on View, Isometric. We're going to create a box. All you got to do to create a box, you just grab your origin, drag your box out, and then drag it up. It's that simple. And then up here, right here, you can type length, width, and height if you want to. You know, if I type 5, it changes it to 5. And the neat thing is, you pick on that box, see how I pick on it? Well, look at there. I can go up there and change it again because it's like I said it's parametric now we can take this box that we created and in one click one well not one maybe more than one two three in three clicks we have a drawing and we are backwards compatible to our drawing and we click in here go to uh, this tab here, which is our dimensioning tab, you know, click on that endpoint, and that endpoint, we have a dimension. Okay, and then you can drag it. But there's our dimension. It does angles. There, there are so many things that it does, but I'm going to cover them in another episode. But I'm just going to show you this quickly. Um, let's bring our concept explorer over. This is where we turn that layer back on for our box. And now we can go to an isometric view, view isometric, 
And this, this is going to take a second because it's having to turn off of what's in those viewports. All right, now we'll go back and create a cylinder. Okay, we'll just grab, tell the grab here and grab up here. And there's a cylinder. And we go down here to subtract. And we, up here you can read this. It says select solid to subtract from. That's our box. And then it says select solids or surfaces to subtract. So we click on our cylinder. Now we have a little cut in there. And if you look over, if you click on your part and you look over here on features, you will see a tree all the way down. It's a feature design tree. And there's the whole length of it. And it's got parents and children. And of course, all of this is the child of the drawing. And you see these red R's, that means it's not been regenerated. So we will just quickly go to layers. We're going to hide that layer again. And we can view top view. If we view top view, it's going to view our uh, drawing layers again. But the easiest thing is to click on 2D right there. And it automatically goes to it. And when you click 3D again, it brings your 3D buttons back up. But it still keeps you in 2D mode. Um, now we go down here on our drawing tab and we just click over here on regenerate drawings four views need to be regenerated click yes there it is there is the power of a $400 program that gives you the power to draft like a $5,200 rental because remember this guys after that first year of pain SolidWorks, $5,200. They're going to ask you for $1,250, and it's kind of an update agreement. If you don't pay them that $1,250, the way I understand it, you lose ability to use the program. You lose your license. Autodesk is the same. I think Autodesk does their Autodesk 360 for $150 a month. This program, you pay the money, it is yours. Okay? You can pay $200 to get an update every year but at least the program belongs to you. This has been Brian Standards from The Awakening, and I hope you enjoyed the video. We will cover more of this stuff in depth, one item at a time. Thank you, and I'll talk to you all later.